what would the final arc of blue lock look like obviously we're nowhere near the final arc of blue lock but today i want to decide to make this video to just give my opinions on how i think the final arc and the rest of the story should go after the nel now if you guys like this type of content please make sure to like and subscribe hit that post notifications bell and let's get right into this shit. now the first thing i want to address is that no i do not think that the final arc will be the world cup arc the reason why i'm saying this is because what's the actual goal of blue lock the goal of blue lock is to find the best striker in the world right the best striker to carry japan to a world cup yes i know that's one of the goals too but also the best striker in the world right we want to create that too but the thing is i don't think that at this point in the story, most of the strikers we have in Blue Lock are going to get eliminated and we're only going to choose one striker for the World Cup team, right? I don't think that's the, the, the direction the story's heading anymore. We have so many good characters and just wasting them on using one striker, benching all of them, then having a bunch of midfielders and defenders on team. I just don't think that'll be the correct decision. Now, let's just say that after the NEL, we have the U20 World Cup arc. Now, I've said time and time again, I do not want Japan to win the U20 World Cup. In fact, I feel like Blue Lock's best arcs, well, not their best arcs because U20 is the best arc and they won that match, but I feel like some of the best arcs in Blue Lock are the ones where the main cast loses. I'm not some sort of edge lord where I want the MC to lose all the time, but I feel like it would just make sense. We're going to be introducing a whole lot of new characters, a whole lot of new new gen lemons, a whole lot of probably new abilities. I feel like it would just make sense for the Blue Lock 11 to maybe make the finals or the semifinals and lose to a completely OP team. Maybe another new Gen 11 striker. Maybe some completely new OP players. You never know. Now, after they lose in the World Cup, I would want there to be a time skip. Now, it doesn't really matter how long the time skip is. I just want them to be a little bit older, maybe closer to adults when the time skip happens. Now, when the time skip happens, we are now going to be adults and everyone's going to come back and you're going to see how much better everyone's got for a couple arcs. You know what I'm saying? A couple mini arcs. We're getting a little like introduction to everyone, but it's the year of the World Cup and we're going to know that everyone already is like damn near pro level at this point. It's the year of the World Cup and I really want them to go in and win this arc. It's kind of like a revenge arc to the last arc because the last arc, yes, we lost, but this arc. We get a whole new, like, whole new thing with everyone, and we're just locked in, you know? This arc, I feel like, would be better than the U20 World Cup arc, just because the peaks in this arc will finally win the World Cup for Japan. Finally, Isagi has to score the last goal to win it. Or it could be Nagi, you never really know. But, like, honestly, that would be a sick-ass arc where a whole lot of res resolutions for the characters would be made. I feel like this arc would be the arc where... Let's say Rin and Sei finally make up, you know what I mean? Nagi and Ryo finally make up, they finally start working again. Like, I feel like this is the arc where most of the characters, like, conflicts right now that are going on in the story should be resolved. Everything should be resolved after this arc, I feel like. Then you're probably asking me, why the hell are we going to have another arc after this? Like I said, Blue Lock is a story where we're trying to find the best striker in the world. Now, if we have a whole bunch of strikers playing together on the same team to win the World Cup, we can't exactly pin down who is the best striker, right? We need to actually have a tournament to decide for the last arc. And what is better than the Champions League? Now, I know what you guys are wondering. How do you know the Champions League even exists? I mean, I've, I've seen characters mention it like Hitoshi Sai, that his goal is to win the Champions League. He doesn't care about the World Cup, right? So I feel like it'll make perfect sense that now that... Everyone's conflicts resolved. Everyone's seen all the best players in the world. Plus, our players have evolved to that level. And we just have an insane cast of characters where we can just make 11 v 11 teams that is going to be comp games, game after game. I feel like a Champions League arc to end this whole, like, this whole thing where it's like, oh yeah, who's the best striker? We have this, Faro, Nagi, Isagi, like... I feel like a arc, a final arc where everyone has their own team going head to head against each other would just be the perfect way to end off this series. Now, some teams that I probably thought of for this arc would probably be Sai and Rin on the same team along with some other people that maybe Rin's connected to like Nanase and shit like that. 
Isagi would definitely have Hiyori, Bachira, Chigiri, and Kunigami on his team. I feel like that would just be a great callback. Maybe even Raichi too. All the people that Isagi's actually made comrade with, he would be on with the team. Nagi would also have his own team. Baro will also have his own team. I feel like all the four people who scored in the U20 game would be major players in this arc. I'd eventually like Nagi, Baro, Isagi, and Rin's teams to meet in the semifinals of this arc. Where I feel like this is where it gets tricky. Because if these four teams meet, who is going to play Isagi in the finals? Because, you know, we have to make our main character make the finals and win this tournament. Because, you know, it, it'll just be like the best for the whole series. But it really is confusing because Blue Lock is a series where most of the characters can be the main character. So between Rin, Baro, and Nagi, I do not know by the end of the series who will be his main rival, who will be the final obstacle. But in my opinion, as a biased Nagi fan, I really would like Nagi to play Isagi in the final round. The semifinals should be Isagi versus Rin and Sei, and Nagi versus Baro. That would be an insane turn of events, but we get two back-to-back -back insane games, bro. Imagine that shit. Weekly, we see Nagi and Baro going head-to-head. -head. By the way, it's not the Nagi and Baro now. I'm talking about Nagi and Baro EOS. That is going to be insanity, bro. Insanity. We're going to get to see entire new flow states. Maybe, remember, they have a full team of 11s. So that means that the new Gen 11 also participate in this tournament. And that maybe Nagi's going to have some new new Gen 11s on his team. Baro's going to have some new new Gen 11s. You know what I mean? Like, it's not just those two versus each other. But I'm saying those are the main guys on their team. Anyways, the finals will be between Nagi and Isagi. And this has to be the greatest game, like, I've ever seen. What I would really, really like for this game is have the Nagi episode and this game happen at the same time. So that, I don't know, it would just be sick. Imagine... Seeing the Nagi episode, like Nagi's POV of shit happening and Isagi's POV of shit happening. It's like two main characters going at it side by side. I don't think we've ever seen that in any manga before. You know what I mean? It would just be complete insanity just seeing Nagi score and we see his POV when he scores. Isagi score, we see his POV when he scores. And ultimately, I'm going to be honest. I feel like the author would make Isagi win the last game. But at the same time... He could go for some unpredictable shit and have Isagi not win, but prove that he's the best player. Now, I don't know how people would feel like feel with that because, yes, we're here to have watch our main character. And Isagi does have more fans than Nagi. So it's going to be outrage if he ends up losing and, you know, in the finals and shit. So I feel like he'll most likely win in the finals. But just imagine if Nagi ends up beating Isagi, becoming the best in the world. Imagine, that would be a Nagi fan's paradise. Not a lot. It would make for the story to have great stakes through and through from start to finish. Make for the story to actually be unpredictable. And you can't even argue because, well, yeah, Isagi's the MC of Blue Lock, but Nagi is also the, an MC in his own way. Now imagine, we got a Ren spinoff too. What if Ren becomes an MC as well? And Baro becomes an MC as well? That would be perfect. We have four MCs in the semifinals. Not to mention the rounds before the semifinals, but we're going to be also be playing other players like maybe Kaiser and shit like that. You never know. You never know. There's like infinite possibilities with the players that we have at that point, probably. But yeah, man, I think Blue Lock should really end with this final Champions League tournament arc to prove who truly is the best striker in the world. And the po to popular belief, I think Isagi should win it because, yes, that's what we're reading the story for. Our main character to become the best striker in the world. Not really the Nagi episode main character. You know what I mean? Or maybe let's say the author makes Isagi win in Blue Lock and Nagi episode Nagi wins. That would be kind of crazy. It's just two pathways and shit. That would be crazy. I won't even lie. That would be crazy. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe. And hit the post notifications bell down below, man. We're so close to 2,000 subscribers. Let's keep pushing. Let's keep pushing. Let's get there, man. I don't know, guys. Have a great day.